Welcome to Personal Radio Fun. Today we're going to learn the secret to get more power out of your GMRS radio. So we have a radio system here. It's broken into all these components. And so we have the radio with microphone. We need a power supply. We have an antenna. And we have a feed line from the radio to the antenna. Now, what you can do is you can buy antennas that have a gain and that adds power so a zero gain is called a unity gain it doesn't add any extra power and a 3 dB gain antenna doubles the power and a 6 dB uh, quadruples the power so for every 3 dB you multiply by 2 how the antenna increases the power is a topic for another video so let's do some quick math. So you have a 10 watt radio and you put a 3 dB antenna on your system that gives you, that doubles it, gives you 20 watts. You put a 6 dB gain on so you quadruple, so your 10 watt radio gives you 40 watts. Wow, lots of power. But there's also a dirty little secret. And that secret is about which feed line you use. They're not all created equal, especially in the UHF band, which is where GMRS sits. Feed line comes in a lot of varieties. Uh, you see here there's RG174, which is very thin wire. RG58, which is real popular for CB radio. RG8X and then there's LMR 400 and there's RG 213 there's also others but these are the more common ones that you see the RG 174 is the kind that you will see in mobile installations uh, where they either provide the antenna or you buy a special mount and they use the small wire so that it can fit better around door jams and and here and there. Trouble is it has a lot of loss in the GMRS frequency. So I put these losses for 100 foot so you just divide how many feet you're using uh, and you can get the DB loss for your system. So if you have a hundred foot of RG174 that gives you a 20 DB loss. That's super high. So a standard cable, which is usually 16 feet for a car installation, is going to be uh, 3.2 dB loss. So that 3 dB gain antenna you put on your car, thinking you're going to take that 10 watt system to a 20, is now back to a 10 watt. So that's one reason to have a higher wattage radio. 15, 40, or 50 watts are, are available. Now you could use RG58, uh, you'll get uh, half less loss than you would with the smaller 174, so that's better. Uh, the LMR and the RG213, uh, those are too thick really to put into a mobile installation. This is something you'd want to use in your house. So if you had to do a long run, you see that if you ran 100 foot of LMR 400, you'd get less than 3 dB line loss. Now RG213 has almost twice the amount of loss as the LMR 400. However, it costs a lot less than the LMR 400. The 400 can run you uh, sometimes close to $2 a foot, where the RG 213 uh, usually tops off at about a dollar fifteen. Depends on the end you get and how long you get it. So how does this all add up? So uh, in the GMRS, if your antenna is six inches or longer, then it's going to be a unity gain or a positive gain. Uh, when you get into the lower frequencies, the high frequencies where you, the antennas are uh, 20 meters long and you have a short antenna you actually have an antenna with loss 
but we're going to talk about uh, auto installation or home installation where you're going to use an antenna with gain or a 6 inch unity. So the antenna is going to be positive dBs and the coax is always a loss so it will be a negative dB. The cool thing about decibels is you just add them together or add and subtract and then you use the transmitter power output in watts of the radio and that gives you what's called your effective radiated power out of the antenna. So let's do an example of a home station installation. Uh, see how the decibels add up. So let's say you use a radio with a hour power output of 50 watts. You get an antenna that's a 9 dB gain, which is common for a home install base station. And you use 100 feet of RG213, which we learned earlier. The loss in that is 5.08. So here's the math on our station, and we're going to round that 5.08 dB down to 5. So we have a 9 dB antenna then we subtract the 5 dB that gives us a positive 4 dB and that becomes a multiplier of 2.5 I'm not going to do the math here for that now. So you take your 50 watts multiply it by 2.5 and you're going to get 125 watts effective radiated power out of your base station antenna. Some of you are going to say, but Matt, you can't have a base station over 5 watts. Well, in the old rules, they had what was called a small base station, which could only be 5 watts, but it actually didn't mean anything. Uh, it was something that was left in the rules. Uh, the old rules pre-2017 did allow high power stations, like we just saw in the example. Well, hope you learned something. See you next time. Comment below if you uh, see anything that you think is different or incorrect. But give us references so we can all learn.